Hey everyone, Jason here. Let's get the remarketing tag installed using Tag Manager, timestamps below, along with some other helpful videos to installing your other tags with Tag Manager. So this is going to apply to anything on the Google Ads platform, whether you are doing Gmail and display ads or you're doing search or even YouTube ads, this is the tag that you want to install. So we'll go ahead and kick things off with actually creating your tag inside of Google Ads. Again, timestamps below to skip around if you have already done this. So we'll go over to ads.google.com, of course. We'll go ahead and click Start Now or Sign In. Sign into your Ads account, and then once you're inside your Ads account, we'll come up to Tools and Settings and click on Audience Manager, and this is under Shared Library. And once we do, if this is the first time and you haven't set anything up yet, you'll see a screen that looks similar to this where you're going to be able to set up your audience for the first time. So if we click on audience sources here, you'll be able to see some other products that we're able to connect to Google Ads. And I always recommend doing everything you can inside of Google Ads. You can actually do some remarketing using analytics, but it's going to be a lot better if you set up this tag. So we'll go ahead and click on set up tag. This is also the place you'll go if you need to get the tag code again. So we'll click on set up tag here and we're only going to collect general website information. You can click on learn more about personalized ads and this just happens to be as more countries, territories, and specifically states in the US start to get more strict, uh, you might actually need to change your terms of service. So that's why I recommend doing this, although I am in no way, shape, or form giving you legal advice. There we go. And we can also exclude California users from remarketing, right? So we'll go ahead and leave that. I'm going to go ahead and leave that on. Of course, you can read through all that information. And now I'm just going to click save and continue. I'm going to include California because we do a lot of stuff in the United States and there are a lot of people there. And of course you have these different options. You can install the tag yourself, email it to whoever your developer is, or we'll go ahead and use Tag Manager, which of course is gonna be the easiest one. That's why we're all here, right? So all we need to do is copy our conversion ID. Now I recommend copying this to your own documentation. I'll link up in the description to our Tag Manager playbook. It's the exact same resource that we use when we're setting up things for clients and making sure we have all of our tags, pixels, and codes in one place so they're very easy to find. So I'll go ahead and paste it in here and then I'll go ahead and click on continue. Again, you can use your own documentation. So we'll go ahead and click on done. And once we do, we can see that we have one tag that is active. And with that, we're actually ready to install the tag inside of Tag Manager. So we don't have to do anything else with Google Ads from this point on. We're good to go, we've got our ID. So we'll come in here and we'll click on new tag. So I'm inside of Tag Manager now, and then I'll go and give the tag a name. I still name it AW for AdWords, and that's simply because if you name it GA, Google Ads, then it also is the same same short or abbreviation as Google Analytics. So I just use AW for AdWords, even though it's not what it's called anymore. So we'll go ahead and click on Tag Configuration here, and when we do, we'll be able to select what type of tag we want, and of course, we want Google Ads Remarketing. So we'll go and click on that, and then we'll drop in our conversion ID and I'm going to copy it from our documentation here and paste it in. Again, you can go directly to Google Ads or whatever own document that you stored your IDs in. I just recommend having something where you keep all that information easy to access. And once we have the conversion ID in there, that's all we need to do. We're now ready to set our trigger. Now setting our trigger is going to be incredibly simple because we want this to fire on all pages. So I click triggers and I just click all pages. Now, when you start doing anything with conversion tracking, you're going to need to set up custom triggers. So link in the cards in the description to how to set up your Google Ads conversion tracking. And you're going to want to do that after this, which is setting up your remarketing. So I'll click on all pages here. So now what we have is Google Ads remarketing, our conversion ID, it's going to trigger on all pages and we're ready to come up here and click on save. So once we click save, you'll see we have one workspace change. There was an edit a few seconds ago and this isn't live, right? So we need to actually submit what we just did. So we'll go 
come up here and click on submit. I'll just drop in some basic information, just noting some changes in case someone else comes in here later and is trying to troubleshoot something, which will happen eventually. And then we'll go ahead and click on publish. And once we do, now it is live on our site. So of course we want to verify that it is. We don't just want to look at this and say, oh great, it's on our site and we're good to go, right? And the way we're going to verify our install is using Google Tag Assistant. So all we need to do is head over to Google or whatever search engine you want to use in a Chromium-based browser, oh no, <laughs> copyright strike, in a Chromium-based browser, oh boy. And we're going to search Google Tag Assistant and we're looking for the Chrome plugin. So we'll click on Tag Assistant here, we'll go ahead and add to Chrome. And once we do, we'll have a nice little icon that pops up and we'll just need to click on done, letting them know what we want to be able to see. You can just leave all of these checked. It's not super important for making sure that Tag Manager and your Google Remarketing Tag install is actually working. So I'll go ahead and click on done here and I can come down here and click on enable. And when I do, I'll be able to see all the tags firing on this specific site or page. Now, that's not really going to be helpful because we don't need to see the tags firing on the Chrome store, right? So we'll go over to our website. So this is the example website that we're using and we're going to click on enable. And then when we do, we have to refresh the page. So I'm going to hit refresh. And once the page reloads, we can come back up to the top, click on tag manager or tag assistant, <laughs> boy, boy. We can click on tag assistant and now we can see the Google Ads Remarketing tag is actually firing green means go. Now at this point, you're all good to go. The tag is on your site and go ahead and check out the link in the description to a playlist that goes through how to install all of your other tags using Tag Manager. Now, if this is not green or not blue, then there's a problem and that's where we go into fixing errors. So green and blue are okay. And this is just a representation of what you might see. Now, yellow actually means there is most likely something inside of your own browser that's blocking the tracking because you can actually install plugins that obviously block cookies and block all of the fancy remarketing we can do. And you can also opt out of analytics as well. If you do a lot of marketing, you probably want to add that to as a Chrome plugin. And you can just search the Chrome store for that. But red, that means there's a major issue. And so at the very bottom here, it's going to tell you where to optimize and you're going to be able to search this error to find out what is wrong. You'll probably start going through some Google forms and you'll be able to figure out what is wrong because if you have this error code, a lot of other people have and they probably posted about it in a forum someplace and you can start troubleshooting and seeing. So as long as it's green or blue, you're good to go. Yellow, there's probably something that you're personal browser is blocking and red means it's definitely not working. You need to fix it. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more tag manager and marketing videos, just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.